As most of you by now know, it is going to be my last. I, uh, after 22 years in this magnificent building, it's time for me to move on. And I asked the speaker who was gracious enough to give me this opportunity to basically say thank you. A goodbye is too early. We have a session ahead of us and a few more months in our term. But an opportunity to say thank you for giving me the most incredible opportunity I could ever dream of to serve uh, this wonderful state. I want to thank the good people of Norwalk, without whom I would not be here. They have put their trust in me on 13 occasions, two for the Board of Ed, 11 times for this office. It is a, a place that I have lived in my entire life, and I am blessed to have lived there. It's diversity, the people, the spirit, the culture there. It's just been a blessing to live there my entire life and for Barb and I to raise our three children there. I thank them very much as well. Also, to speak from you from this seat, this seat, this very honored position of minority leader, I have to turn to my caucus. I addressed them uh, earlier on this, today. Uh, it wasn't easy. It has been a complete honor to lead you for these past eight years. I might have other titles in my life, a lot of names called, but nothing will be more of an honor than had to have been called Minority Leader of the House Republican Caucus. It has been a truly pleasure. I love each and every one of you. We call ourselves a family because along with our staff, this amazing staff that has so honored me to be assembled behind me, we have acted like a family. We are a family. And we have done so many great things uh, for our party and most particularly for our state of Connecticut. Giants. I sat in awe as I listened to them. 
had the privilege in this room to, to hear debates of all kinds, high-level debates, the death penalty debates for the classics, gun control, abortion, all the, the, the incredible intelligence and the high-mindedness that went into those debates. And I got to sit here and see that witness in some cases participate. It's just, it's, a, it's an incredible thing. No sir, when you first get here, your word is your bond. Boy, they ain't kidding, folks. This is one of the last places where your word must be your bond. Uh, also, respect. We have differences of opinions. God knows we go at it. But we have to respect each other. And obviously, I say that extra sensitive for the minority. You know we are not the majority. And yes, uh, there's uh, many of our amendments or ideas uh, that are going to get through. God's sakes, we've got to listen to each other because when we do put party and politics and power aside, we do do good things for the state. We've proven that over and over again. No, we're not always going to agree, but at least we can be tolerant and listen to each other. That's the kind of stuff that I've learned. You know, we also often talk about being true to your principles. God, we all have principles. We're all true to them doesn't mean we can't compromise. That does not mean you are casting aside your principles. It means that you recognize that there are people with a different set of principles. But if we are going to do what we're elected to do and move forward as a state, there must be compromise. You're not cheating anyone. You're not disappointing yourself because you've, quote, given up on a principle. You haven't. No one's going to take your principles away. We're elected to do a job, so that's another thing that I can throw out there. Pam Sawyer, my sister, we came in together along with Lou and Joe and Terry and some and Kevin Ryan. We all came in the same class 22 years ago. How come I'm the only one leaving, huh? <laughs> Art O'Neill and John Piscopo and all the Larry Miller who came before me. My 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 paisans, uh, Tony D'Amelio, Tony Guerrero. Uh, Mike Fidel, we had a little Italian cups, we used to bring cannolis in. It was a wonderful thing. All the wonderful people that I had the opportunity to serve with. The friends I made, I look across the aisle of my good friend Steve Darkin, we go back a long, long way. I've enjoyed a lot of great, great time with them. Guys, I don't mean to take you down memory lane, I just want to tell you it's a pretty neat place to be. Enjoy every second of it. You can do good things and still enjoy yourself and meet some of the most incredible people that you ever could. It's been my privilege to have been able to do that. So uh, at the end of this session, and we have a lot of work to do in between, it's my turn to say goodbye. I want you to know that in serving with all of you, you made me a better legislator. But most importantly, you made me a better person. Thank you.